For centuries, Antarctica has captured our imaginations as the end of the world. From the historic first explorers of the 1800s to the bold scientists of today, we continue to be captivated by the wonders held within Antarctica's icy plains. As the world's last unexplored wilderness, Antarctica is shrouded in mystery, and as a land of extremes, it's also great at keeping its secrets. The harsh conditions, freezing temperatures and barren landscapes make Antarctica inhospitable to humans. The frozen continent is about 1.5 times the size of the United States. Despite this, scientists have forged on, discovering blood-red waterfalls, ancient fossils, peculiar natural phenomenons and incredible creatures. They've even managed to discover a world beneath the ice, from fire-flashing toilets to crocodile icefish. Here are the 15 of the most fascinating mysteries held within the end of the world. But before we jump into number 1, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. Blood Falls. This flow of red liquid in the middle of Snow Kingdom has been confusing scientists since the beginning of the past century. In 1911 an Australian geologist first discovered the blood waterfall, and the quest to solve this riddle began. Scientists understood very quickly that the water was red due to the high iron content, but they were able to prove the theory and find the source of red water only at the beginning of 2018. It turned out that there's an underground lake not far from the falls with water full of oxidized iron, which gave the water this color. See-through fish or crocodile ice fish. It was previously thought that nothing could survive beneath the massive ice sheets, however scientists have discovered a number of unusual species that have adapted to the harsh environment. Perhaps, have you ever thought of a transparent animal? Antarctica has a lot to be discovered, with the recent discoveries showed many kinds of fish, those with very big eyes, maybe because the animals live in darkness. But the see-through fish found 740 meters deep in the Ross ice shelf changed scientists' thinking. This creature had to adapt to survive the cold temperature, and for that reason, it evolved into such a unique being. The cause of the translucent coloring may be due to the loss of hemoglobin, a protein which makes our blood and blood of birds and animals red. If ice fish encounters warmer water, it will die, so waters of Antarctica are literally its home. No rain or snow in 2 million years. While Antarctica is a very cold place and anyone would suspect that it rains daily. This turns to be a big no. As in Antarctica around 1% of the continent is permanently ice-free, it is thought to be the world's harshest deserts, and it is estimated that these areas have not seen rain or snow in almost 2 million years. Such areas are called dry valleys. According to one study led by Australian scientists, due to climate change ice-free areas in Antarctica could expand up to 25% by the end of 21st century. This could drastically change the biodiversity of the continent. 90% of the ice in the world. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest single mass of ice on Earth. It covers an area of almost 14 million square kilometers and contains 30 million cubic kilometers of ice. Around 90% of the fresh water on the Earth's surface is held in the ice sheet, an amount equivalent to 70 meters of water in the world's oceans. So if all the ice in Antarctic melts, it is thought that it is enough to raise global sea levels by about 60 meters, that's 200 feet. This means most of the largest cities in the world will be immersed in water. Toilets use fire to flash. While you enjoy flashing using water at your home. When you have a chance to go to Antarctica it's not the case. Everything is cold and below minus 80 degrees centigrade, so by the time you think of using the water it's already ice. And because Antarctica is a very cold place it is more likely that all the waste will not degrade when disposed. For that matter therefore they use fire. When you are going to pee, you will have to put a plastic bag below the toilet such that when you pee it collects there and then get burned to ashes. Then the incinerated harmless wastes are carried back to where you come from. If that's impossible on your side, then I'm afraid that you will have to carry you pee in a plastic bag back to your home country. 24 hours dark for 6 months in a year. Actually no day and night. If you imagine home without the sun for 6 months. Then Antarctica is one. Winter in Antarctica, it is dark all of the time. And in summer, there is plenty of daylight 24 hours a day in Antarctica. In September, the sun rises and then doesn't set again until March. In normal circumstances, most places on Earth, there are daily changes in light. 
light all day and darkness all night. These daily changes occur because Earth rotates on its axis, spinning once around in roughly 24 hours. Slowly enough so that we don't get dizzy. For part of that time, the period we call daytime, a given place on Earth, such as your town, faces the sun. For the remainder of the 24-hour rotation, the period we call nighttime, Earth has turned, and that same area is on the side of Earth facing away from the sun. The seasons are caused by the tilt of Earth's axis in relation to the sun. The direction of the tilt never changes. But as the Earth orbits the sun, different parts of the planet are exposed to direct sunlight. During summer, Antarctica is on the side of Earth tilted toward the sun and is in constant sunlight. In the winter, Antarctica is on the side of Earth tilted away from the sun, causing the continent to be dark. The 50 million year world's oldest sperm. The fossilized sperm looks similar to those of modern crayfish worms, the peculiar leech-like organisms that live on freshwater lobsters. The scientists are unsure if they are directly related though. Crayfish worms are only found in the northern hemisphere it would be very surprising to find a relation coming from Antarctica. Antarctica is the only continent without reptiles and snakes. Have you ever been out there and worried about snake bite? In Antarctica you can sleep anywhere you find, because the danger of being bitten by a snake is not an issue there. Snakes belong to the animal class reptiles. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that raise their body temperature by lying in the sun or lower it by crawling into the shade. Their body temperature changes to the temperature of its surroundings. Because of this, snakes that live in colder climates must hibernate through the winter. They will find burrows or caves and fall into a deep sleep until the weather becomes wear enough for them. But in Antarctica that time never comes. And snakes cannot survive in places where the ground stays frozen year-round, so there are no snakes north of the Arctic Circle and in Antarctica. Although, there is an abundance of other forms of wildlife, such as whales, seals, penguins and other birds. Penguins are the most common birds in the Antarctic. They live in colonies and survive in the harshest conditions. Out of the 17 existing different species of penguins, two of them are permanent residents on Antarctica that is the Emperor and Adelie penguins. Others, like the macaroni, gentoo and chinstrap, breed on the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, where the conditions are not that harsh. King penguins only breed on the warmer northern islands. Winds can reach the speed of 200 miles per hour. Antarctica is one of the windiest places on Earth and is home to unusual katabatic and downslope winds. The strong winds are influenced by cold temperatures and the shape of the continent. The highest recorded wind speed was at a French base back in 1972, it was blowing at 200 miles per hour. And even though it doesn't snow there that often. Contrary to what most of us would think, due to strong winds, the snow is picked up from the ground and moved around, which might look like it's snowing. There are no time zones. Because Antarctica is largely uninhabited and under international governance, the continent is not officially divided into time zones. The research stations choose which time zone to stick to. That of the country that finances them, or that of the country geographically closest to their base. Taking 6 to 8 liters of water a day. It is very common to all of us that during the cold days we consume or little amounts of water, that is less than 3.7 liters a day for men, and 2.7 liters for women. While Antarctica is 70 times colder than the normal environment, with temperatures descending to minus 40 degrees centigrade in summer and minus 70 degrees centigrade in winter. It requires one to take more than 6 to 8 liters a day. The air in Antarctica is so dry that your body loses water just by breathing. And therefore one needs to take a lot of water to replace the lost, despite the hardship one needs to go through to get the water that is not ice. A massive singing slab of ice. The Ross Ice Shelf is the largest ice shelf in Antarctica. It's several hundred meters thick and covers an area over 500,000 square kilometers, roughly around the size of France. Scientists have recently discovered that the Ross Ice Shelf sings an eerie melody caused by the winds blowing across the snow dunes. The winds create surface vibrations and almost non-stop seismic tones. The vibrations aren't audible to human ears and scientists use seismic sensors to listen to the mournful tune. The song was discovered by accident after seismic sensors were installed on the ice shelf to observe other behaviors. Scientists have since discovered that the song changes in response to the environment, such as melting or storms shifting the snow. They are now using the song as a tool to monitor the ice shelf in real time, 
tracking its stability and vulnerability for collapse through the seismic humming. Ancient Meteorites Antarctica is a gold field for meteorites. Although meteorites can fall all over the Earth, they are easier to find in Antarctica as the cold, dry conditions preserve the rocky fragments. The dark meteorites are also easier to spot on the stark white surface of the ice, and they are almost always extraterrestrial rocks, as few rocks form naturally on the ice sheets of Antarctica. The East Antarctic is particularly ripe for meteorite findings, as the massive ice sheet has stayed still long enough to have its top layers evaporated by sunlight and strong winds. This reveals the older ice and huge concentrations of meteorites. There have been more than 20,000 extraterrestrial meteorite samples collected since 1976. In 2013, a team of Japanese and Belgian scientists discovered the largest meteorite found in East Antarctica in 25 years. The extraterrestrial rock weighed an incredible 18 kilograms. The team searched for meteorites for 40 days, finding 425 meteorites with a collective weight of 75 kilograms. The discoveries included a piece of the asteroid Vestav and a meteorite from Mars. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe. And to watch more videos, by tapping the videos above.